on this season, SEMO men's basketball has shown us they are not the same team that went 3-15 and in the Ohio Valley Conference last year. They're not a pushover. In his first year, SIU grad and former Saluki assistant Brad Korn has his guys believing. Tough non-conference test. Whipscomb, Bison have played in the last three Atlantic Sun Championships winning in 2018. So here we go from the Show Me Center. And off to the races, that's Nigel Russell driving in the paint for a pair. This game was a back and forth battle. The big guy, Nolan Taylor, strong on the glass, gets his own rebound. The put back, 16 points, 8 rebounds. And then Simo, they go inside. They can also go outside. Nana Ankenton showing some range, hits the open three. He chipped in with nine. And then how about this? Former John A. Logan player Chris Harris coming up big in the second half, knocking down 19 points, made a clutch pair of foul shots at the end of the game to push the Red Hawks to an 82-77 win. So Simo holds off Lipscomb and head coach Brad Korn impressed with how Harris finished. He didn't start out great, you know, to be quite honest. He didn't have a very good start to the game, and it was just kind of, I just don't, I don't know where he was, where his headspace was, uh, but we got him out. We sat him for quite a while, honestly. Uh, but Chris's character and who he is as a player, he's not going to be down for long. And you saw him bounce right back in that second half and have a huge second half, huge three in front of our bench, and then obviously his free throws. So we've got a ton of confidence in Chris, and sometimes Chris just has to get Chris going. I um, mean, he did that after halftime. Um, so really proud of him in the way he, he's always been resilient, persistent. Those are the words we use a lot with this team and this group. Um, and Chris ex exemplifies that. Now let's send it back out to the Show Me Center where Kendra Sheehan joins us and has more on tonight's big win for the Red Hawks. Kendra. Hey Jason, COVID-19 has changed the environment for college basketball games. Inside the Show Me Center today, there were 580 fans in attendance. This is an arena that can sit up to 7,000 people. So with the gym more quiet with less fans, players are forced to create their own energy. A lot of times that energy stems from the bench. This was a back and forth game. Simo's largest lead was just six points near the end of the second half. It was during those free throws from Chris Harris that you mentioned, Jason, during the last couple minutes that you could feel the Red Hawks creating their own momentum, pushing themselves forward, getting the energy up in order to close out the game and ultimately get them into the win column tonight. Now up next for the Red Hawks to have a bit of a break before they head to Evansville next Tuesday. Reporting in Cape Girardeau, Kendra Sheehan, News 3 Sports.